You're watching the Northeastern News Program that keeps you up to date, aware, and informed on all things related to Northeastern High School. This is High Street Morning News. Good morning, Northeastern. Today is Monday, January 27, 2020, Cycle Day 6. I'm Justin Walto. And I'm Mackenzie Jenkins. Now for our announcements. A representative from the U.S. Air Force is scheduled to provide a presentation today for, to any student interested in branch of military. The presentation will be held in College Career Center at 11 a.m. today and pizza and ref refreshments will be provided. Any in interested students should see Ms. Hack and the guidance to sign up for the presentation. High school seniors interested in receiving financial assistance to help pay for college can now apply for the Pennsylvania House of Representatives Scholarship. Each year, the program awards a four-year scholarship to two students preparing for post-secondary education. It is open to graduating high school seniors who are Pennsylvania residents with plans to attend a Pennsylvania college, university, or career school as a full-time student. For full details, view the post on Schoology by Ms. Newcomb. Students who are planning on going to the Envirothon competition in April need to talk to their parents, clubs, sports teams, and directors about uh, coming to the study session led by some of the station leaders from 2.45 to 4 p.m. The dates are February 3rd and February 18th in Ms. Middleton's room, room A15. Please let Ms. Middleton know if you are planning on coming to these sessions. Snacks will be provided. Please share your congratulations with our Scholastic Arts winners for 2020. This honor is one of the highest that students can receive at the high school level. Shout out to junior Jaden Harrod for winning honorable mention in the category of film and animation. Congratulations to Abby Waples for a Silver Key Award for a sculpture titled Fractured, Fractured Melody. We are honored to have these students represent NHS in the visual arts. Again, congratulations. It's that time of year again. Diversity Day is just around the corner. If you are interested in signing up to have a food table, informational table, or activity, please stop by room 313 and pick up a yellow sheet. Remember, the more tables and information we can provide during Diversity Day, the more understanding and acceptance we will have within the school. Now let's send it to sports. Good morning, Bobcats. On Friday, the boys' basketball team traveled to William Penn. They played a tough game, but unfortunately lost with a close score of 51-58. to Also on Friday, the Lady Bobcats faced off against Dover on our home courts and won 43-23. Way, Way to go, girls. The girls played back-to-back -back with a game on Saturday against Central, but unfortunately lost 43-50. to Any girls interested in playing softball in the spring are invited to open gyms starting today at 3 to 5 p.m. in the ninth grade gym. Now let's take a quick look at what's on social media. Let's kick things off with a couple of tweets from the tail end of last week. Ms. Dr. Seidel congratulated Abby Waples and Jaden Harrod on their Scholastic Arts Awards as mentioned earlier in the show today. Congratulations again to you ladies. The swimming and diving teams had their senior night last week and our resident photographer, Mr. Chris Riddle, has posted all of his amazing photography of the night on this Smug Mug page at chrisriddle.smugmug.com. Be sure to check it out. Several Bobcats participated in the York County Honors Choir concert over the weekend. Seth Erdley, Gianna Gartner, Becca Sutherland, Rachel Wirtz, James Herman, Bailey Spanger, and Caitlin Wilt performed in this annual event. Mr. Chris Riddle has posted the Week in Sports Preview schedule on Twitter, and you can find it on Twitter at ChrisRiddle65. And by now, you have likely heard the news that basketball player Kobe Bryant and several others traveling with him passed away yesterday in a hel helicopter crash. Shaquille O'Neal posted, quote, Kobe was such a, more than an athlete. He was a family man. This was what we had most in common, end quote. The world will continue to remember Bryant fam the Bryant family throughout the week, week this week. On our lunch menu for today is popcorn, chicken, mashed potato bowl with dinner roll. Tomorrow's breakfast will be pancake and sausage on a stick. Tomorrow's lunch will be homemade stromboli with marinara sauce. Now let's send it to weather. Thanks, Justin. Right now, it's feeling pretty all right, but it's a little bit chilly. But at least it's a little bit cloudy. The wind speed is pretty moderate today. Let's take it to the five day. Now this... Uh, Monday, we're looking at some clouds, but mid-40s. Tuesday, 
mid 40s cloudy as well Wednesday same thing let's take it back to the desk that's all we have for today Northeastern so have a fantastic day and don't forget to stay classy